Hello everyone, Ramadan Mubarak. So our today's guest is Areen al Khusaibi, who has been working in the municipal solid waste sector at BIA for five years. And we will be discussing today with her about the role of the sector in the municipal waste management. Welcome to the show. Hi, how are you? I'm it's good. my pleasure to be here. Yes, I'm so excited to hear all the things about waste management. So, well, to begin with, I would like to know the waste management sector's role in BIA company and its operations on the overall. Uh, well, uh, the sector plays um, a key role in BIA where it um, uh, manage uh, or handles the management of municipal solid waste and its common uh, waste item like household, uh, packaging, uh, green and bulky waste, um, and as well construction and demolition waste. Um, um, our operation begins uh, with the collection of the waste uh, transported to the nearest facility. Um, it can either be engineered landfill or transfer station. Um, the transfer station is a, a way uh, to improve uh, the efficiency as um, it facilitates the movement uh, of waste uh, from the um, local collection to the final uh, disposal. Um, uh, as for the engineered landfill, um, it is uh, its operation as um, a final disposal of uh, municipal solid. So after the waste is collected, what's the final disposal stage of the municipal solid waste? Uh, well, as I mentioned uh, at the beginning, uh, the final stage uh, uh, disposal operates across the engineered landfill. Um, uh, the engineered landfill are strategically uh, located uh, across uh, the Sultanate of Oman, uh, which follows the best uh, international standard. As, uh, as well, there is 11 engineered uh, landfill uh, uh, around the Sultanate of Oman, one in each uh, governorate. Um, now, uh, this landfill sites are um, made up of um, cells to receive the municipal solid waste and uh, the self itself is constructed or designed uh, with layers of uh, materials uh, to, to, to prevent any liquid uh, from the disposal of waste to reach the uh, ground uh, water. Um, each cell is capable of um, holding a certain amount of uh, waste and as well uh, it has its own uh, projected uh, lifespan and um, within the cell uh, there is a network uh, extraction system to capture and collect uh, the green uh, gases which is mainly consist of uh, methane gas. Um, um, there is another part that uh, comes at the end of the process of disposal uh, uh, waste in the engineered landfill which is leachate treatment. Uh, leachate is a concentrated uh, uh, liquid formed from decomposition uh, of uh, organic waste when it is compacted uh, in the cell. Um, uh, it of course requires uh, chemical and physical uh, treatment. Uh, this process transfers the leachate uh, into water uh, however, it is not suitable for uh, human uh, use. So what type of waste does the sector recycle and manage? Uh, beside the municipal solid waste, there are other uh, streams that reaches our facilities, uh, such as uh, green, uh, bulky waste, construction and demolition waste, end-of-life tires as well. Um, of course, different uh, waste uh, streams uh, need specific uh, handling and disposal methods uh, to ensure uh, a proper management. Uh, for the green and bulky waste, uh, we have uh, common seven shredders uh, aimed to shred uh, these type of uh, waste uh, in order to um, um, increase uh, the, 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 life, the lifespan of landfills and as well uh, to mitigate uh, the fire risk. Mm -hmm. um, uh, for adding to that, uh, we have recently partnership with local companies 
um, uh, to supply uh, this type of waste in order to recycle it and can be used later on for composting or uh, biochar projects. Uh, moving to construction and demolition uh, waste, there are 29 uh, designated uh, sites to receive, segregate, and stockpile uh, the waste. Um, uh, nine of these sites are for CND processing. Uh, the, the sites are equipped with crusher to process the CND uh, waste to produce a clean material as aggregates. Uh, these aggregates can be used or recycled uh, for uh, backfilling projects or, uh, or interlocks, blocks. Uh, end of life tires is another type of waste that reach our facilities um, now uh, due to their uh, large area required to stock by this type of waste in our site compared to other waste um, we have introduced two shredders um, to shred the tires into small pieces uh, these small pieces can be utilized as a tire derived fuel uh, serving as a partial uh, substitute uh, uh, for liquefied petroleum gas in cement kiln and of course, this recycling process helps manage ELT uh, effectively, uh, which also uh, provide uh, an alternative energy source for the industrial uh, uh, purposes. Well, that was great information. Thank you for sharing that. Now, since it's Ramadan season, I would like to know that, is there something special that you're doing this Ramadan? Uh, well, uh, recently, uh, BIA hosted uh, a step challenge for the staff uh, to promote uh, a healthy lifestyle and well-being. So I participated um, to ensure that I stay healthy nice. and, of course, have a healthy lifestyle. Yeah, that's great. And Eid is also around the corner. So any special plans? Are you celebrating Eid with family over here? Are you traveling? What's your plan like? Uh, well, uh, no, I will, I will stay in Oman mm -hmm. with my family, uh, having uh, some shua, of course, you know, in Oman. Yes. <laughs> shua, uh, it's a tradition here in Oman. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to celebrating Eid with your family. Celebrate, yeah, Eid with my family. Lovely. All right. On that note, I wish you Eid Mubarak in advance and have a lovely Ramadan ahead. Thank you so much for being on the show. For more such Ramadan episodes, keep watching The Arabian Stories. Thank you.